I feel very lucky to get the chance to interact with senior professors from both MSc in Business Analytics as well as Data Science in the University of Surrey. I have already posted a video where I had an interaction with the program director of MSc in Business Analytics. I will leave in the card here and also in the description if you want to check that video. And in this video, I have spoken with a senior lecturer in the Masters in the Data Science from the University of Surrey and asked most of the common questions and he has taken his time out to answer all of them. Uh, if you still have any questions, always feel free to drop in the comment section and I will try to answer all of them. But before that, if you are watching this for the first time, I am Mohan. I live in the UK. I make videos about life in the UK, studies, part-time job, tips and tricks and whatnot. Please consider subscribing to my channel, like this video and share it with as many as you can. Let's get straight into the video. Hi guys, I've just finished one interview and then now we have another big person from the university. I would let him introduce himself. So please. Right, so I'm uh, Sotiris Moskoyanis. I'm an associate professor in computer science. Uh, I teach in uh, the data science course mostly, also in information security, so at the master's levels mostly. Uh, I teach uh, a module on uh, database systems, which starts from the basics of databases, moves to business intelligence and goes to data mining. And then in the second semester, I teach reinforcement learning and also, of course, I supervise dissertations. So, so I make YouTube videos and I have so many students asking me questions about data science course. Uh -huh. So why data science? Well, that's a good question, actually. The, I think that the, the, that the world is generating data at, at enormous rates. Uh, and we're all convinced by now that there is value in that data. There's value in predicting from that data. There's value in looking at it and, and, and identifying trends. And so this is not something that's going to go away. So we will, we will always have to process that data, make sense of it, try to, ex to extract the, the most value out of it. And this is what data science is about. And whether the name will change, I think the basic scheme will not change. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And why Surrey in specific? What makes Surrey different from other universities? Yes, uh, uh, Surrey is, um, has a long tradition in engineering uh, in general. It has good connection with the industry. So it is in the so-called Silicon Valley of the UK, between uh, London, Basic, Stoke and Surrey. All the technologies created in, in, that, in that region, a lot of the games industry is, is around, a lot of uh, big companies, smaller companies, startups are around. So the proximity to London is, is a very good thing. Um, also from the logistics side, if you want to travel to India or to, to other places of the world and so on. Um, but uh, mostly I would say what uh, makes Surrey stand out is the connections to industry, the placement scheme that allows the students to go and apply a bit of what they have learned during the program, but also acquire new skills and uh, get a sense of what it is actually to be a data scientist in the real world. Yeah. Um, so when you talk about employability, that's the next question. Right, okay. So what is the employability rate after finishing an MSc in data science? Yes, at the moment it's great. So it has been actually, say at the moment, over the last few years, it has been great. Uh, it probably picks up on what I was saying in answer to your previous question, that uh, we are in a, in a good geographical position, apart from the fact that the course is great. <laughs> um, uh, uh, so so the, the employability is, we, we have 94%, according to HISA, the Higher Education Statistics Agency, gives us 94% employability. Uh, what that means is that 94% uh, of our students, or 9 out of 10 students, let's say, uh, find a, a job within 6 months in the field. So not in something else, but related to data science. Or continue with further study, like PhD or, or do further research in the field. So we're quite proud of that, that number. And it's been consistently over 90 in, in the last few years. Yeah, I've got so many friends who finished data science and landed up in very good jobs. So there you go. <laughs> so by the way, if I say it will be more of you know, very personal choice, but then if someone from the department says, so yeah. I thought that would be very appealing. And if someone wants to come in the February 24 intake. Mm -hmm. What's your take on that? Um, the February intake is something that we started recently, and it is most, I think the, the value of it is that it allows maximum flexibility. So if say you're, you're, you are working, you're already working in some uh, role that relates to data science or relates to handling data in a business, uh, or your role has changed recently to handle more, more data, which is actually the case, and they want to fund your, your MSc or they want to allow you the time to do the MSc, they might have a big project going on until the end of the year and they want to release you by October, let's say, or by the end of September when we start. 
So then you have the chance to, to, to finish the project, run everything smoothly and join us in February. And I have to say that even if you join in February, that doesn't affect your uh, placement or your dissertation anyway. So all this is nicely wrapped up. So you do it February to February rather than October to October. Okay, so February intake is still a good choice, guys. If you're looking into this video and want to apply, do apply. The deadline is 15th of December 2023, which is literally a few weeks away. Yeah. And so a couple of final questions before we wrap, we wrap it off. Or can you just let us know a few job titles after you finish your data science master's? Mm, yes, uh, I mean data scientist would be the obvious one, uh, or senior data scientist, junior data scientist and so on. Uh, data engineer uh, is another one. Uh, database designer also sometimes uh, uh, is camouflaged as that. Mostly, you will do mostly the preparation side of things, the pre-processing, uh, but it gets paid well <laughs> in the database designers. Uh, yeah, all the way to, to data analyst or business analyst nowadays, yeah, so they have to make uh, decisions uh, based on data, so data-driven uh, decisions. That's an interesting point. So a data science master student can get into business and business analyst roles, which is making sure that you have wide opportunities after you finish data science masters. And the last question is, what's the prerequisite for someone who wants to come for masters in data yes. science? Yes. So uh, obviously we are looking for people that have a degree in the relevant uh, subject. So let's say computer science or maths or physics or engineering, electronic engineering. Let's say more generally. Uh, but we also accept uh, people with uh, other degrees as long as you have some work experience. So, and the work experience we would be looking, to, we would be looking at it to be in a relevant field. So something to do with data, something to do with databases, something to do with software. So to be exposed in data and software to handle data, essentially. And we've got a lot of students that come uh, after, uh, after the degree and having worked several years actually in industry, they come to, to upskill in a sense uh, in data science that is, uh, that's quite hot at the moment. Perfect. So Sir has kept everything very simple and crisp. I think all the questions which I get and which any student would get is all answered in this video. I thank Professor for your time. Thank and you very much. I really hope that more students watch this video and get enrolled with our university for the masters. Thank, thank you, so you very much. much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.